The key to treating pattern one PEP is the passive prone extension, the sloppy push-up. In this instance, the technique is critical. Do it properly and it works. Do it wrong and there is no benefit. It starts by having the patient lying face down, lying prone. The hands are placed palms down above the head. And there are two elements to this maneuver that must be done correctly. The first is that as the patient lifts up and pushes with the arms, the elbows must lock. They must be completely extended. The second is that at the same time as the arms are straight, the hips are down on the mat. If the arms are straight, but the hips are elevated, just move your hands back a bit, push up all the way. That is not correct. If the hips are down, but the arms are bent, that is also not correct. Those are the two mistakes that everyone seems to make. So, arms must be straight, and we do that by positioning the hands further forward. And with the elbows locked, the hips are down. We'll start now with a repetition, four count repetition. I'm going to have you put yourself down. Notice that I put my hand on top of hers so that the hand position is locked. Now, we push up, lock the elbows, sag the back, and go back down. Up, lock the elbows, and I tend to keep a hand on the elbow so that it can't bend. Sag the back, so my other hand is in the small of the back to feel the patient relax, and down. The four count. Up, lock, sag, down. Up, lock, sag, down. If that maneuver reduces the pain or eliminates the pain, this patient is a prone extension positive pattern one. If the sloppy push-up is done properly, but it does not change the pain or in fact makes the pain worse, that patient is a pattern one pen, a prone extension negative patient and requires a different treatment strategy.